Dad, do you remember those days? A lot of them, huh? I was just the, uh... I was just, uh, you know, Southside kid from the Big Irish family that didn't uh, have all that much money. It wasn't that we were poor, we just didn't have a lot of money. Put it this way, I was wearing a Fonzie t-shirt in 1985. The show went off here in 83, and Fonzie stopped being cool in 79. And everybody out there knows that. You know, we didn't have a lot of money, but it didn't bother us much, you know? I mean, it was, it was different at times, because we had brown bag lunches. Everyone remembers the brown bag lunch, right? We'd have a bologna sandwich, and then a Tupperware container filled with, like, red fruit punch. Oh, by the time you got to school, you had a soggy, wet, red fruit punch sandwich is what you had. And those things always leave. So, I always be jealous of that kid who came in, you know, with the Happy Days lunchbox, hipped out with a turbo Fonzie thermos in it, you know? Always jealous of him. You know the kid, he was an only child. He had Ho-Ho's and Doritos and a PB&J on some seven grain shit, you know? I guess, you know, Wonder Bread or Generic was too good for that thing. But... But do you remember the generic stuff? Our house was filled with it. You know, the Jewel Yummy Soda, or the Nacho Cheese Chips, all right? Cereal in black and white. Iced tea, all right, we get it, we know what's in there. You know, we had a lot of that shit growing up. We are a big family, so we really you know, couldn't afford a whole lot. And another thing we had was a handy downs obviously, you know? Instead of getting new shoes, mom would go out and get white shoe polish. You know? So every year as you went on, you'd use the same shoes, only you put white shoe polish on them. Like no one knew the difference, you know? I never mind my pro wet or pro wings or cats, there'd be smudges of white all over on them. It was the best we had, so I wasn't really worried about it, you know? But being poor back then, I shouldn't say poor mom, because you guys always did everything that you could for us. So you know, we did a lot of things back then. We like bombing cars and skitching, and, and those shoes were great for skitching. And was, I can remember there was this one bus driver in particular, and I don't know how the hell he didn't know it was us. The same three kids every time. We'd wait for him at 57 to get you know? Wait for the bus as soon as he opened it. Boom! 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 Snowball after snowball after that, you know? And he'd get off and chase us. We were punks, you know? I mean, it's just. It's just how it went. We also had our picks of the great superheroes back then, you know? Some people wanted to be Captain America, or Thor, or Batman. Me? I wanted to be Superman. And I mean, Clark Kent's his alter ego, but the guy could see through ladies' clothes and, you know, stuff like that, so that's actually kind of cool. And I can remember with my cousins, John and Mike, going and seeing the movies with them. You know, Superman 1 and 2, by the time 3 came, it you know, started sucking. Christopher Reeve was good in 1 and 2, but 3, no thanks. You know, so John and Mike and I would go, we'd be at my Uncle Jane at their aunt's house, and she'd make a, a jewel bag, like a, a paper jewel bag full of popcorn for us to take. And then she'd give us tab soda. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for the tab. I don't know how many people out there have actually tasted a tab soda. No thanks. You know? But that was our way, that's what I remember, because, you know, we always, either way we got to go see the show. So Superman was my guy. But I mean, what was with Lois Lane? Are you kidding me? Okay, just let just me show this real quick. I'm Mario O'Connell, okay? Now who am I? You know, I mean, Lois, give me a fucking break.